Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today we're going to talk about what to do when your images are looking dull on the web. So sometimes if you upload to Facebook, you don't always notice um, any color changes, but you'll see sometimes when you upload to your website or something like that, colors can look dull. Um, I know when I first started, it was really frustrating for me to upload photos to Facebook and they'd look perfect, and then I upload them to my website and they would look really gray or washed out. Um, so today I'm going to show you what to do when that happens. Um, this is a photo we have open now. I'm going to show you, if you have your photo open, what to do to make sure that your photos don't look dull on the web. So, first thing we're going to do is go to Edit, Convert to Profile. Um, just click that, and then when it pops up, just check and see what your source space is. If your source space is sRGB, and then all this other junk afterward, then you're in the right color space. This is the one that you want to be to make sure that your photos look their best on the web. Um, lots of people will tell you, you know, if you're printing, print in this color space, or if you're doing this, use this color space. sRGB is the best one to use for both the web and also if you're sending your prints to um, an actual, like, big lab. Um, if you're printing them at home, you might want to check your printer settings, but generally, um, most major um, print labs will be able to read sRGB, and so does the web. So it's the best source space to use um, to ensure that you're saving yourself some time. You don't have to constantly change the profile back and forth um, according to what you're doing. This covers both print and web, so you're good to go. So if your source space is already set to sRGB, you're good. You can hit cancel and be done. If your source space is set to anything else, um, I don't know, Adobe CMYK or Adobe RGB or something like that, you're going to want to change that. So under destination space, you're going to select the one that you want to change it to. And in this case, it's going to be sRGB. And again, it's got a bunch of numbers and letters and crap afterward. You're still going to click that. So we're going to click that one. And I've all, I'm already in that one, but if you weren't, this is what you would do. Um, and then you just hit OK. And this will convert your image into sRGB. You won't notice anything different on your picture if you use Convert to Profile, which we just did. Um, it will just read it for you. Now, if you're noticing that this is happening on a lot of your images, um, they're in the wrong color space, and you shoot in camera raw, it could be because a setting is um, has been adjusted um, in Camera Raw. So let me open up a photo here. Um, so this is the Camera Raw um, app, or whatever it's called. Um, down here at the bottom, you'll notice this blue link. Uh, mine is in sRGB, but if yours was in something else, you'll want to click that and change it here and select the one that you want. Obviously, um, we're discussing sRGB. That's the one that we want. Um, if any of the other ones are selected, just make sure you choose sRGB and hit OK. And that, sometimes it can just get bumped or but a scroll of your mouse can change it. So um, if that happens, just come in here, click that, make sure it's set to the right one, and then hit open image. Once you open the image with that profile, that profile will stay the same in Camera Raw until you change it. So you should be good to go. Um, I would just double check every time you get ready to save a picture. Just go to edit, convert to profile, check your source space, make sure it's in the right one, and then just hit cancel if it is. So I hope that helps and isn't too confusing. Um, there's a lot of technicalities and um, a lot of information you can get from people as to which source space or which color space you should be using. Um, but generally, if you're using um, a large print lab or your, your images are mostly just seen on the web, SRG is your best bet. SRGB, sorry. Um, so that's all for today. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.